in our first tournament semi-final, an Australian power puncher squares off with a crusher from Curacao. Errol Zimmerman versus Ben Edwards. My name is Errol Zimmerman. I'm the bone crusher. I want to be number one. I want to be on top. I will fight with Ben Edwards and the winner will face off to Brad Oxelfa or Kari So it's a nice happy with the tournament. I'm ready for it. Errol Zimmerman uh, is an excellent fighter. He's very similar to me in size and style. He's very powerful and he's probably a bit quicker than me too, to be honest. He's, he's a naturally gifted guy who, by all accounts, doesn't work very hard in the gym. Well, I'm a naturally gifted guy as well, but I train like a champion, and I think that's going to be the difference between us on the night. It's a hard guy. It's a more boxing guy. I cannot wait to fight. I love fighting in a tournament. It suits my style. I knocked out three guys in a total time of under three minutes and 30 seconds, so uh, I'll be ready to go in Denver. I will bring the action. I'll bring the story at home. Bad boys, back again, back, back again. Ben Edwards and Harold Zimmerman butted heads at the weigh-ins. Now they'll settle their differences in the glory ring tonight. Now counted among the world's top 10 heavyweights, he is a veteran of over 110 career battles. Here is Errol Zimmerman. and one draw. Zimmerman comes with knockout power, 42 KOs out of his 101 victories. Zimmerman brings with him a ton of tournament experience both in glory and other organizations. The problem with Zimmerman is he hasn't always been consistent. Sometimes he's lost some losses that he shouldn't have. He's in the glory ring, ready for battle. His opponent comes to Denver with an 88% career knockout ratio, Ben Edwards. Bangin' Ben Edwards, 36, 9 and 3, 1 and 0 in glory. He comes into the heavyweight contenders tournament tonight, ranked number six. From the First Bank Center, just outside of Denver, Colorado, welcome to Glory 16. Our first matchup in the heavyweight contenders tournament semifinal number one, Ben Edwards and Errol Zimmerman. Here's the tale of the tape. Well, Zimmerman needs to use that height and reach advantage against Bang and Ben Edwards, who's very dangerous on the inside. All bouts tonight will be contested under the glory rules. Each bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds with the potential of a sudden victory round if the bout is scored a draw. Three judges score the bout using the 10-point must scoring system and based on knockdowns, impact on opponent, and scoring with spectacular technique. If a fighter suffers three knockdowns in a round or four within a fight, he will lose by way of technical knockout. No elbow strikes, throws, takedowns, or submission attempts are allowed, and fighters can only clinch if they 
immediately attack with knee strikes. Now for the official introductions, here's the international voice of glory, Tim Hughes. This heavyweight tournament semifinal scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he is a European Grand Prix champion. His record, 101 wins, 11 losses, one bout scored even, 42 of those wins coming by knockout. At 6 feet 5 inches tall, 1.96 meters, he weighed in at an even 248 pounds, 112.5 kilos, fighting tonight out of Curacao and ranked number 9 in the world. Here is Errol. The Bone Crusher, Zimmerman! His opponent fighting out of the white corner an ISKA South Pacific and World Champion. His record, 36 wins, 9 losses, 3 scored even. 32 of those wins have come by knockout. Standing 6 feet 2 inches tall, 1.88 meters, he weighed in at 268 pounds, 121.6 kilos, fighting tonight out of Australia and ranked number 6 in the world, it's banging Ben Edwards! Your referee in charge of the glory ring is Al Wickers. We are ready for our first semi-final tonight in the Heavyweight Contender Tournament. Fed ready? Fed ready? Ben Edwards ready. in the Fed white ready. gloves and white shirts. Fight. Errol the Bone Crusher Zimmerman in the black gloves and black shorts. Tonight's Fight Clock is brought to you by Miller Lite. Now back in its original can, it's Miller time. Don't blink, folks. These are two big men that can end the fight quickly. Down goes Ben Edwards, but our referee Al Wicker says it was a slip. No knockdown. Big body shot from Zimmerman. A right from Edwards goes over the top. Well, setting the table for this fight, the styles you got Zimmerman, the Dutch style. Normally he likes to come in, close, use his knees, and inside fight for a big man. But he can't do that tonight. Edwards loves to be in that scrum. The former rugby player is going to look for his bangers and mash and get it in there and throw some thunder from under. Zimmerman catches the kick of Edwards and delivers a couple blows. The winner earns a spot in the Glories Heavyweight World Championship Tournament later this year, but you got to win two fights here in Denver to do so. You saw in the video a little bit earlier, no love loss between these two. They went head-to-head -head in the weigh-ins. Errol Zimmerman said he did not like the way Ben Edwards and his corner dealt with their victory over Jamal Ben Sadiq at Glory 12. Zimmerman known for those big knees. Keep an eye on that as Ben Edwards goes to work with a nice combination. Moving forward, Zimmerman up against the ropes. Straight from Edwards. Edwards teeing off. Could Zimmerman be in trouble? Zimmerman's got to get out of there. Big shot from Zimmerman. Down is Ben Edwards. Onto the glory canvas. What a shot from Errol Zimmerman. will let this fight continue. Can Ben Edwards shake it off? First knockdown by Errol Zimmerman. That's what I love about this heavyweight division. Zimmerman looked in trouble and then he put Edwards in trouble. The drama of tournament fighting. 45 seconds to go in this first round. Now remember, in a tournament semi-final, if a fighter's knocked down twice in a round, they will lose by way of TKO three times overall in the fight. And Ben Edwards is coming back. Under 30 to go. The big man throwing down in Denver. Body shot from Zimmerman. Knee followed by a right. And Edwards is down again. Right hook from Zimmerman. Floors Ben Edwards. And that is all. That was an incredible setup. He was going with the right hand all night over the top, and he snuck that knee in there. Very intelligent move, and signature bone crusher Zimmerman. The knee did the job, and he punched his ticket, got out of the first round healthy, and he's going to the championship of this tournament. 
always a big key, having a quick victory in a tournament. There's the knee you mentioned, Duke. Check out the rest of it. Ben Edwards goes down. What a way to start off the heavyweight contender tournament. It's Glory 16 from Denver, Colorado. I got to tell you, Ron, I saw a different Errol Zimmerman coming into the glory ring tonight. He was very emotionally charged. You could see a, a deep focus. Like, he was either going to find himself tonight or lose himself. He had to do well. His back's against the wall, and he's looking great. He's the tournament favorite right now. Well, you never know what kind of fighter you're going to get with Errol Zimmerman. He is up and down, but he did tell us in the fighter meetings that he is 100% focused, and he also predicted 100% KO in this fight, and he delivered. He is one of the most talented fighters in the heavyweight division. What he needs to do is find his rhythm. He's still a young man. He's only 28. The prime for heavyweights is in their 30s, so he can really find himself and put on more performances and the focus he had coming into the ring tonight. It could be something special in his 30s. Oh. Tough loss for that man, Ben Edwards. He came in, he's a power puncher, he's a brawler. He tries to wear people down by keeping the pressure on. But a good game plan by Zimmerman, throwing those knees to create some distance and then to finish this fight. Of course, Edwards, extremely disappointed. And as well, you know, Zimmerman weathered the storm. At the time that Zimmerman dropped Edwards, it looked like Zimmerman was in trouble. And even later in the round on the other side of the ring, he was a little in trouble, but he regrouped and he finished like a champion should. Yeah, and that's glory. I mean, these fights are just insane in the membrane. I can't say it enough. <laughs> they sweep back and forth, the, the tension, the drama. You know, that's what I love about fighting. You could be winning a, a football game by four touchdowns in the fourth quarter, everyone leaves the stadium. It is not over till the fat guy sings, and the heavyweights did it tonight. Big knockout. The heavyweights brought the thunder right away. Errol Zimmerman, a ton of tournament experience. He's won tournaments before. And he uh, knows how to finish a fight. Coming up next, that man, Sergei Haritanov, preparing for semifinal number two, the Russian, 33 years old. I tell you. Glory matchmaker Core Hammers put together an incredible four-man contender tournament. You know, to beat two guys in one night and to move on for that championship possibility, it makes these guys hungry to want to get through this tournament. Again, we got Murderers Row, we got Heratonov, we got Silva, and now Zimmerman, he's moved on, but Edwards, he's no slouch. Great tournament, great matchmaking, you know, and there's just so many great events coming up. The Glory 16 Heavyweight Contender Tournament starts off with a bang. Errol Zimmerman comes in and destroys Ben Edwards. Well, again, the, the stats were somewhat similar, but the one that mattered was the guy who got knocked out and the guy who did the knocking out. Zimmerman moves on. Check out the highlights here. Duke Edwards was really the one that was pushing the pace early and landing big shots. It was that hook, and then he came under with that scooping hook that rocked him in the middle of the exchange. So as he was getting fired at, he fired back. Good knee up the middle, and there he did. He clipped that right hand and clipped down on the chin. Very good hooking right hand. Look at that knee to set it up. 
hit him in that floating rib. Devastating. And look, right as the foot hits the floor, it's like a boomerang hitting that Aussie. Foot hits the floor, crack, he hits him with that right hook. Errol Zimmerman earns his 102nd victory. He'll be back a little bit later. Let's make it official and head into the glory ring in Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the Glory 2 knockdown rule, our referee Al Wickers steps in and waves this fight off. Two minutes and 50 seconds into the very first round, ruled a technical knockout. For your winner, who now advances to the tournament final, Errol Zimmerman!